How does a tropical revolving storm form? Step 1. The warm, moist air is drawn either from the Indian Pacific or Atlantic Oceans. The water is usually drawn between the Tropic of Capricorn and the Tropic of Cancer in the side of the air of a low pressure water. Step 2. Soon after the moist air is drawn, the high pressure air pushes into the lower pressured air to create moist air that is evaporated. Soon after this happens, the water va vapour condenses to create clouds that eventually rain. Step 3. As the air from the storm gets worse, the cloud begins to circulate around the eye. If the storm is north of the equator, it tends to spin anti-clockwise. However, if the storm is south of the equator, it tends to spin clockwise. This is because of the axis. Step 4. The TRS is rapidly rotating, faster and faster. It creates a Coriolis effect. This is where the earth is spinning round and the wind creates a small whirlpool, whirlpool which makes a tropical revolving storm larger. Step 5. Soon the TRS goes so fast the, that the eye begins to form. The size of the eye varies from 50, 5 to 50 k, km across. The wind speeds are calm and low in the eye because there is very low pressure. In the eye you can see clear skies.